paisans, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Thrifting Goomba here. Michael, and thank you so much for coming back to the Thrifting Goomba channel. TTG in the house, we're coming back. Got another What Sold video. Uh, this one, unfortunately, a few days overdue. Sorry about that. Should have been out last week. Just been real busy trying to get things done, uh, working on a bunch of other stuff, and uh, just, you know, uh, trying to make things happen. So, hey, let's go ahead and jump in with what we have sold the last two weeks of the May. So we got these Funko Pops. You saw one of these before. Actually sold out the last two this month. Uh, I probably should not have put these guys on sale like I did. They were eleven sixty five. They did sell for twenty eight fifty five plus shipping. Uh, like I said, I probably should not have gone ahead and put these on sale, but I did, and it's okay. They sold. I'm cool with it. Made money. Yep, another music CD. So, guys, if you're going to learn anything, just remember, you know, um, and I want everybody to still keep believing that music CDs do not sell. So, uh, you know, uh, I'm in the Marietta, Georgia area. If you're in this area, don't look at CDs when you go to your thrift stores, your garage sales, your estate sales, or any other kind of sale. Just keep walking by your CDs. There's no money in CDs. Now, with that being said, I paid a dollar three for this CD, and I sold it. Uh, it was a watcher gave a best. I gave them an offer. They accepted it. Forty three, forty seven, plus international shipping. There is somebody in the UK who needed Vanilla Ice's Cool as Ice original motion picture soundtrack. WWE Shawn Michaels uh, action figure. This was part of a big buy that I did when I um, on um, GameStop was having a lot of their action figures for uh, five bucks a piece. Uh, went and bought a bunch of them. Uh, they are slowly but sh uh, slowly, surely selling. So uh, I'm almost close. I mean, I probably still have to sell, you know, another good bunch of them. Uh, to get to be even, but I'm getting close to being even, then I'll be in the profit right after that. So I'm okay with that. So 530, full of a 1931 plus shipping. Ties, you know, ties do sell for me. They're a, they're a long tail item. Now, this is one of those items where I do an auction on... Uh, as I have items that stick around for very long periods of time, I'll put them on auction uh, so that I'm not using my, uh, you know, bin, you know, uh, listings. Now, right now, it really doesn't matter. We have been given a bunch, so it wouldn't matter. But what I do with these is I, have, I started out with about 30 items that I was doing this auction with. And I do five-day auctions, so at least the product gets out there, you know, basically once a week. It stays out there once a week. So, uh, and then what I'll do is I'll raise the price by, you know, 7 or 8%. Then I'll drop it 5%. Then I'll raise, I may raise it 10%, then drop it 10%, and so on and so forth, going back and forth. And finally, this one sold. Uh, I paid 27 cents. Had it for a very long time. Sold it for eight eleven free shipping. Still made, uh, you know, profit margin wise, return on investment wise, still made a good ROI. Uh, Roblox is another one of those game stoppers. Five thirty, sixteen forty one plus shipping. Uh, not too shabby. Happy with that. I'll take it. Dial soap. Uh, this one wound up not being a great buy when I initially, I took too long to list it, I think. Uh, when I initially saw it, they were going for a lot more than uh, $14.89. Um, they were probably going for closer to about 2021 or 22 in that area, and I would have made more, a lot more profit on it. Um, I didn't lose money, which is fine. I sold one here. 
and I sold uh, one on Bonanza. I had three. I have one left. So uh, Bonanza, uh, you know, if you're not um, selling on Bonanza, uh, you need to go ahead and uh, and check it out. It's a, a good uh, free selling platform. But I paid two dollars and forty cents. Sold it for four eighty fourteen eighty nine free shipping. Uh, I wrap it in cardboard, put it in a padded flat rate envelope. So as you can see, you know, by the time my profit and everything, you know, I'm at almost I'm about I'm at ten dollars. Uh, so I think I made like two dollars and seventy five cents. Again, you know, it's horrible uh, as far as a dollar for you goes. But hey, it was a positive. It wasn't a negative. So that's a good thing. Another music CD. Thank you very much. Uh, this one, I paid 50 cents at a church garage sale or a church rummage sale, I should say. Uh, took a best offer of $17. Why? Well, because I had it in my store for a very long time. It was new, sealed. Um, you know, it was just one of those things where I just was waiting for somebody who had to have it. They gave an offer. I took it with plus shipping. So it was all good. Uh, Hot Wheels, uh, Led Zeppelin, you know, a van, little uh, cosmic, I'm sorry, combat medic van. Um, not a great buy. Again, uh, you know, took a little too long to list it, and the price went down. More got on the market. You know, I'll tell you, if you learn anything, you know, uh, from watching these videos, I'll tell you, you know, you um, get something. And, and, and list it and stuff. I've been doing that a lot more. I go out, I buy something, I clean it up, I get it listed right away rather than taking uh, a long time. Now, I still have a bunch of stuff that I'm trying to get through, but my new stuff that I get, I try and get it and get it done and then mix in some of the older stuff as I'm going along. But dollar sixty nine, ninety nine free shipping, made money. Uh, this Hawaiian shirt, uh, I got into a little, oh, I don't know what you want to call it, um, a Hawaiian crush where I was buying a lot of Hawaiian style shirts no matter what because, hey, Hawaiian style shirts sell. They do sell. A lot of them don't sell for good money. A lot of them take a long time to sell. Uh, but And this is one of those ones. I had this since... Early 2019 in my store. Again, I'm okay. I, you know, I paid 50 cents, so I'm not like, oh my gosh, you know. And yes, I I got 12.49. I'm sorry, 12.79. Uh, this was an offer to a buyer, uh, offer to a watcher, uh, and they took it, and I was happy to put it in a poly mailer and send it off to them. Uh, bodyguards, uh, Apple iPhone 7 case. Uh, I got this for free. It was in a, it was brand brand new, never opened. It was in a box of a bunch of stuff that I bought. Um, so basically, it was it was free. It was a throw in. Uh, so um, I use a spreadsheet, and I track you know potential ROIs and ROIs. So it's hard to put a zero in because uh, you know it doesn't figure the uh, you know the math the right way. So I always put in a penny. Ten ninety nine free shipping, you know. Basically free into ten ninety nine. I'll I'll go ahead and take that. Uh, these jeans, these were another long buy. These have been in my store since twenty eighteen, uh, and I was happy to get rid of them. Uh, you know, I paid two seventy two. I took uh, I took you know I was going back and forth and we're working with somebody else and I and I was actually getting ready to take an offer. A best offer from somebody, and uh, we you know we went back and forth in the, in, in negotiating. And I was ready to hit accept, <laughs> and all of a sudden, boom! An order came in full price for him. So I was happy to go ahead and sell them for full price, and um, I'm assuming the person uh, loved them. Glade Toasty Pumpkin Spice plugins. You know, uh, I got a bunch of stuff with this pumpkin spice and all this kind of stuff. I'm hoping some of it starts to sell more. Uh, you know, we are, you know, in the middle of June. And, uh, you know, pretty soon, 
lot of those scents are going to start coming back and then this stuff is just going to be sitting around so uh, i got four left i may bundle them all up and just try and blow them out and i'm okay doing that i maybe i'll change it and charge shipping because I, I have free shipping right now but i paid 53 cents so even if i take the other four you know i'm still going to be okay sold it for 749 you know uh free shipping made money and that's ultimately what counts uh disney princess sophia got this one it was at a sale uh i can't remember where but it was i think like if you buy three you get one free or buy four get one free uh so basically it was free but again a penny sold it for the 23 26 with free shipping it did go priority uh so you know which and i think it went for about probably eight or nine dollars so again still not bad though you know uh made a good ROI on it uh, Hot Wheels the little mini monster trucks this was a uh, it's, these are okay and you make okay money if you sell them in a lot uh, and, and it seems like a lot of five is what it is um, I had gotten nine of these so I have one lot that is numbered through 16 through 20 and then I had a bunch of ones that I didn't have enough of to make a lot. So I'm just trying to sell them one by one to fill in. But, you know, paid a dollar. Yep, 643 free shipping. I know what you're saying. Hey, it is what it is. Uh, this was a part of a uh, Walgreens uh, buy here. Um, you know, 264 Sold it for the 951 free shipping. Went for the four ounce rate, so you know what, I was okay with that. I'll take it. So, baby bullet. Um, if you watched the haul video that I did from uh, Goodwill, you remember I got a baby bullet in a box for eight dollars, and didn't have the main motor, but it had everything else, and everything else was brand spanking new. Nothing was open, nothing was used. So somebody must have burned out the motor, uh, or maybe somebody stole the motor. I don't know. Um, so I decided that I was going to part everything out. So as I parted everything out, it actually came out to 16 items uh, that I was able to, you know, uh, to list, or based off of quantities also. So 50 cents an item. So when you look at this, I sold these for 50 cents. Yes, I did free shipping. They go very, very uh, low rate. Uh, but I'm sorry, I did. I'm sorry, I charged shipping on these. So with charging shipping on these, sorry about that. Um, I profited like five dollars and ninety cents off of off of this. Now, I sold the other one, and unfortunately, it'll be in the next what's sold video. And I profited five dollars and change. So I sold two out of my sixteen items. So I'm already in the profits uh, by three dollars or four dollars. Uh, so I'm looking forward to as these rest of these things sell of going ahead and just you know being in the profit. So when in doubt, part it out. It does work. And last but certainly not least, this is the last one. This was part of the GameStop, five dollars and thirty cents. Sold it for twenty-one fifteen plus international shipping. Uh, international shipping on this guy was, I believe, twenty-five dollars. Uh, forgot where it's going. I believe it's going uh, somewhere to South America. But you know, uh, international shipping. You know, and then I used Pirate Ship, uh, got the simple export rate, so I made even a couple of bucks there. So uh, I did uh, did pretty good on this. And like I said, this whole GameStop stuff, um, you know, I've been selling a bunch lately. Uh, a lot of the action figures are going uh, internationally, which is which is cool because I can make a couple extra dollars here or there on the um, on the shipping, you know, for handling and all that kind of stuff. But um, that was uh, it. I did have some uh, other uh, 
FBM sales on Amazon, and I was, you know, Amazon was still doing okay. The only, like I said, the only other, you know, um, site was Bonanza that I showed you and stuff. But that's uh, where we are now. I know, like I said, people want to. I just want to show real quick. You know, I do. A, people a lot here, a lot of times. How do you keep track? How do you keep track? I just do a simple spreadsheet. I don't get too crazy with it. You know, um, when something sells, I put it in the sold column. And, you know, uh, I put in what the total customer sale was, what their shipping was, what my shipping was. It'll calculate fees. And I use 15. I just use a straight 15%. So it's approximate profits. And I'll have to change that once managed payment starts. And then I see. And then what I did was over here on this right side was is I kind of built into that if I want to give an offer, hey, uh, you know, if I have this, dev whatever this product is, if I want to give somebody 12% off, how much do I make? How much do I make for 10, for 15? So if I say, you know what, hey, I'd like to make $12 on this, depending on how much something is, I can look and see what I can afford to give as a discount to then, uh, you know, uh, you know, give it to my customer so that my customer can go ahead and, and, you know, get a deal and I can get a deal and I can get some stuff sold and that's what it's all about. So with that, that is it. Uh, if you have any questions about this spreadsheet or if you're interested in, I have actually a blank one that uh, that I keep in case people want it. So I could, uh, you know, get it to you. Uh, you leave a mess, leave a comment down in the bottom or you could, uh, you know, send me a DM on IG and uh, we can go ahead and go from there. <clears throat> uh, you know, uh, Coming up, we got the live show. That's right. That reselling show, Wednesday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central, 8 Mountain, 7 Pacific. Uh, myself, uh, John Nevermore Antiques, link down below. Oscar El Cubanasso, link down below. We, uh, we're trying to go ahead and do the right thing, trying to have a, a show where we are trying to, you know, Give you guys knowledge to to make your business better. Uh, it's going to be on my channel this Wednesday. Working on a guest. Should know by tomorrow uh, if that person is going to be there. Got a backup just in case. So uh, should be good to go. So please, uh, if you could, you know, uh, I appreciate you being here this long. If you could like, subscribe, hit the little bell. Um, so that this way you'll get notifications when I drop more videos. Uh, share this. Maybe you got some friends who sell on eBay and they're, or they're trying to get started and they're trying to wonder what kind of products to actually sell. Show them this kind of stuff. You can see it's a wide variety. You know, it's toys, it's music, it's clothes. You know, there's hard goods, you know, other hard goods, you know, the, the, the baby bullet stuff. You know, there is the, you know, the Hawaiian shirts. There's, you know, there's soap. So, I mean, it's across the board, you know, of what uh, what you can sell. Um, I've had some decent sales so far, so uh, the next video should be pretty good. I have to do that estate haul video. I really need to. I think I'm going to do that one as a, uh, just as I go. I'm not going to necessarily prepare. I got a big wooden box. I'm going to reach in, grab something, and show you guys and go from there. So with that, Thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for liking and subscribing and getting notifications. Continue going out there. Look, stuff is opening up. Garage sale season. A lot of places are opening up. A lot more retails opening up. Go out there. Thrift what you can. Sell what you can find. Uh, you know, learn from my mistakes. Go out and keep hustling and keep looking and keep scanning and keep checking and find those products that are going to, you know, make you money. You know, sometimes you get lucky and you get the fast nickel. Sometimes you got to wait a little long and you get the slow dime, but it's all good. But as always, no matter what it is that you do, go out there and make them an offer that they can't refuse. Peace. Have a great day.